guys what is up this is Chris Rambo 9 and today we'll be looking at the settings that I use in my Microsoft Flight Simulator X as well as the textures that I use in the simulator and this the textures that I use also um, applicable to uh, FSX Team and P3D as well okay so um, you guys are probably wondering why FSX the reason I went back to FSX was because of FS Recorder as you would have known um, recording without it using fraps in FSX Steam and P3D was uh, problematic, extremely problematic and as a result I came back to FSX just to get a fresh recorder to work. Um, I also tried using different forums to try and get a fresh recorder to work with these with P3D and Steam but it, no luck with it, at least for me. I've tried it but nothing. So without any further ado let's begin by starting up FSX okay guys so we're in the settings section of FSX let's begin by clicking on customize so we'll be looking at the graphics section first as you can see I currently have the the GTX M50 Ti uh, really nice low cost GPU and I like it it works nice I hopefully will be upgrading to uh, a higher performance one in the future the target frame rate I have currently set on limited although it, some people recommend that it should be on 30. Personally, unlimited works uh, extremely fine with me. I, I like it as unlimited. I usually have unlimited on Steam as well as P3D. Personal preference it works for me. I don't know if it's going to work for you guys. Or it's up to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> screen resolution uh, up to you guys again. I don't know what the screen resolutions are, but with relation to anti-aliasing, I currently pumped pumped that into my FSX and Steam and P3D using the NVIDIA inspector. Have no fear I will be looking at the inspector in this video and the settings that I use and that allows me to you know get such um, smooth services with no jagged edges and I also use these same settings on my P3D as well as FSX Steam. Moving on to the global options now I currently have that set to very high and uh, the advanced animations are ticked off. The reason why I have these off is because FSX again is unstable, it kills frames, it doesn't work. However on my Steam now I usually have the, the, the Light Bloom and Lensfair on as it, it's more stable, uh, it's, it's not that jumpy, it, it, it works fine. Continuing on to aircraft selection well, I currently have uh, the 3D cockpit as the default. Um, personal preference again. Um, most people I know have this 3D cockpit on. Show the cockpit tooltips, really unnecessary for me. Uh, of course, yes, the high resolution 3D cockpit I have ticked on. Relation to the exterior settings. Um, Aircraft got a shadow on the ground, got that on. Actually, I should have this on too. Um, yeah, so yeah, got all these ticked off. Um, uh, the aircraft uh, landing lights illuminate the ground. Yeah, that's, that's some nice settings there. Uh, and that's what I have on. Moving on to scenery. Um, this is what I currently have for FSX. Now, compared to my FSX team, I had these sliders maxed out on Steam and it was stable, it was stable, it was fantastically stable. If I was to do some other sex, I would be in hell. So these are the settings I use that allow me to, I mean, it's decent, it's decent. Um, as you can see from my previous video, um, Cam and Trinidad, those are the settings that I were running and allowed me to get that that kind of graphics well these are the settings here um, so I'm satisfied with this it runs fine with this however on Steam I am able to max out these sliders and it works perfectly so terrain and water uh, the level of uh, uh, detail radius it's on medium mesh complexity 75 mesh resolution uh, 38 uh, meters uh, Texture resolution 1 meter and water effects low 2x. Now, low 2x is usually a really nice setting, um, and I use that through um, 
P3D as well as Steam. So that slider kind of remains the same. Uh, actually, no, sorry, with Steam I had that full maxed out, my bad. Um, but at P3D, yeah, it was pretty much the same. Scenic complexity, very dense, and autogen, very dense. Um, and that's about it for the scenery part when using FSX. As I said, Steam, it's maxed out, works perfectly. FSX, if I max this out, I'll be in pain. P3D as well, I, do, I did not max it out. It's, I have my own specific settings for that. But when I get back P3D, I will look, at, look into that. Going on to weather now. Um, I currently have my visual settings, uh, the cloud draw of 80 to 128 kilometers, uh, 80 miles to uh, 128, and um, cloud detail. Oh uh, yeah, very uh, detail clouds. Yeah, this is this is nice. This is important. I mean, to get some, it looks nice. It looks nice. Cloud uh, cover de uh, density uh, maximum. And well, I use Opus, so I mean, this, uh, this shouldn't really be too applicable too much. Um, yeah, once you use a weather engine or something like um, Active Sky Next or something like that, yeah, you should be good. Traffic. Well, I have, for one, for the most, I have the, the labels off. This is optional, but for realism, I have it off. If you want to be realistic, take it off. Um, land and sea traffic, it's uh, moderate, uh, road vehicles 20, ships and ferries 40, and leisure boats 40. So, I mean, these are the settings that I use in FSX, and I also use the same weather as well as traffic in my Steam, as well as P3D. So the main really the main difference really would be in the scenery section that would really be extremely variable and would change up. So that concludes the settings that I use with FSX. Um, so let's look at the NVIDIA Inspector. Alright guys, so now we're gonna look at the NVIDIA Inspector. So what you're gonna do is basically um, run this as administrator. Remember always run as administrator on Windows, it's the key to life. Then you want to click on this kind of mechanical button with the driver profile settings. And once this is opened up, you want to go to the top left hand and type in MS. And you'd see the MS Flight Simulator X option pop up. Alright, so basically these are the settings, or the profile I use um, for my FSX, my P3D and my Steam. So what you can do is probably pause the video now and probably um, take a screenshot or actually just put this into your, your inspector so that you can get um, the settings that I use uh, into your flight simulator. And remember once these settings are injected you can remove the anti-aliasing via FSX or P3D or Steam. That way it would just solely be the GPU now pumping anti-aliasing anti listing your, your simulator. Alright, um, nothing much to comment about this. Um, these are basically settings, so you just click on the drop down and select from whatever. And um, one last note to add it to your simulator for you guys who are not using it for the first time. You want to click on add application to current profile. Basically go into wherever your simulator is located and select the EXE the application exe and open it up and that should now inject it straight into your uh, flight simulator apply the settings and voila now this does not come with the card it, it's a it's an application you have to download so I'll also have that in the description nevertheless let's move on to the last one not least the rex settings that I use so this is RX4, as you can see, texture RX. And for clouds and effects, the setting I use is number three. For low-level clouds, I use Stratocumulus. For lightning and effects, I use electricity. Under sky colors, the sky dawn. I usually sometimes um, change these up a little bit every now and then to have different kind of 
um, sunrises and sunsets and etc so I believe the last one I was using was um, I think it was Greece yeah I think it was Greece but again I changed these up a lot so uh, I think this was the last preset I had for sky day now I use uh, Antarctica which is right here and for sky dusk I use again I change these up but I use uh, I currently use the window Chicago windy Chicago sunset so mainly sky dawn and dusk I change up on the day I change every so often but not as much as the sky dawn and dusk sun and effects I use setting 4 waves and water I use I use uh, the dark clear coral gives it a nice look a wave animation I also interchange between these uh, and the current one I have right now it's the leave it to ripple wind so again I change these up every so often just so I can get a little bit of different water effects every time I fly you know, something interesting to see uh, in relation to airports runway and taxi I don't really mess with these because I fly into places or where I have my scenery so this is not really I won't I don't use this so the main things I use will be the the sky and water effects as well as the sun and the sound effects so that basically includes this video for the settings that I use for my FSX as well as I gave you some insight as to what I use on Steam as well as P3D I do hope this video was somewhat helpful and uh, thank you for watching really appreciate it see you next time this is Chris Rambo 9